Well, hi guys. My name is Trudy, and I'm going to be reading y'all a story today. This story is called Fantastic Mr. Fox by Roald Dahl. Chapter 1. The Three Farmers. Hey, I'm a farmer. Well, my daddy's a farmer. I just help out a little. I milk the cows. Down in the valley, there were three farms. The owners of these farms had done well. They were rich men. They were also nasty men. All three of them were about as nasty and mean as men as any men you could meet. Their names were Farmer Boggis, Farmer Bruce, and Farmer Bean. Boggis was a chicken farmer. He kept thousands of chickens. He he was enormously fat. <laughs> he was a fat man. This was because he ate ate three boiled chickens smothered with dumplings every day for breakfast, lunch, and supper. Bruce was a duck and goose farmer. He kept thousands of ducks and geese. He was a kind of pot-bellied dwarf. He was he was so short his chin would have been underwater in a shallow end of any swimming pool in the world. He must have been a short man. His food was donuts and goose livers. He mashed the livers into a disgusting paste and then stuffed the paste into the donuts. That does not sound tasty at all. His diet gave him t gave him a tummy ache and a beastly temper. Well, clearly. Bean was a turkey and apple farmer. He kept thousands of turkeys in an orchard full of apple trees. He never ate any food at all. Instead, he drank gallons of strong cider, which he made from the apples in his orchard. He was thin as a pencil and the cleverest of them all. Is this a song? Boggis and Bruce and Bean, one fat, one short, one lean. These horrible crooks so different in looks were nonetheless equally mean. That's so clever. That is what the chicken roundabout used to sing when they saw them. That's the end. That's the end of chapter one, at least. I'm gonna show you some of the pictures in the book. This is Mr. Bogus. This is Mr. Bean. Or is it Bruce? Yeah, this is Mr. Bruce. Farmer Bruce. And then, this is Mr. Bean, right? Yeah, Bean. He's a small man. Well, he's not short small, he's like a thin small, you know? So, everyone, I hope you liked my book. This isn't my book, but it's my favorite book. I didn't write this book, but I read this book every single day. I could pretty much recite it word for word, but I don't want to show off.